Hello, it's Daisy. Welcome back to my channel. Like and subscribe if you like this content. And yes, I'm aware that the last Elder Scrolls Online video, the audio sucked and I couldn't fix it. But this time, everything should be good and it should go as planned. So now, if you don't know, this is Dustwood. She's a vampire. Uh, she lost her soul. Has, uh, what's his face? Uh, Manny Marco sacrificed her. And, uh, after she went into his, uh, the, his Daedric Prince realm, uh, she got thrown back into the world without a soul and she also came back as a vampire because, uh, what's his face? That's, he's the Daedric Prince of the vampires. Mogul blog blog blog. That is a very aggressive, babes. Oof. Very aggressive. Sky shard. Awaken. Awaken. <sighs> Yay. We're running, we're running, we're running, running, running. Welcome to what used to be the front line soldier. Something very strange is happening out here. I'm just a grunt, not a very smart grunt at that. Maybe you can sort things out for me. What's the problem? Problem? I've got a battlefield full of ghosts, sprung out of the ground like corn in the month of mid-year. They kill those Covenant bastards, which is great. But how do you kill what's already dead? My mages can't even agree on what to do. What do you want me to do? I've known Furon and Risa for a while now. I respect them both. I just need to know which of them has the better idea. Start with Furon, then talk to Risa. Hear them out and do what they ask of you. When you've decided what's best, let me know. I'll give you my decision soon. I'll be honest, I wasn't sure what I was going to do out here. Thank you, Traveler. You mentioned Covenant soldiers. Yes. Damned Skeever snuck around the city and came at us from the wastes to the north. Damned good strategy. Hit us from this side and by sea and squeezed the city in the middle. Hope Holgan and his troops are holding up. I said he's under attack. You hard of hearing. Yes, the city's under attack. Damn daggers came right out of the sea, trying to take the watch from under us. I'd be with Holgan myself. These spirits haven't come out to play. Where did the spirits come from? Do I look like a Telvanni mage? I have no idea. Furon said something about climber elves. I, I guess the dark elves used to be really good at scaling mountains. Look, just ask him and leave me to the soldiering. Okay, sorry. You know, that's gotta be annoying though, having somebody ask you like a thousand questions. What? T today? Of all days? What was it about today that made these spirits become so restless? You're talking about the ghost. Ah, greetings. Yes, I was just thinking about the situation here. These spirits make up an ancient army of Kaima warriors. Blade masters from the time before Red Mountain. It's fascinating to observe ancestors so closely. The sergeant asked me to speak with you. You have a plan to deal with them? My brother's plan, actually. Giron believes we can control the dead, harness them in a powerful defense for the watch. His method must be tested before we attempt a larger ritual. Tested how? Take this smoky pendant and use it on one of the ancient dead. You may have to weaken it a bit first. If it binds a spirit, bring both back to me. If it doesn't, well, we'll deal with that when the time comes. I'll see it then. Go bind a spirit. I need to know if the ritual can work. Ah, 
brought a spectral friend. Nicely done. This proves your brother's idea works then. Just so. It proves we can force these spirits to guard Darvon's watch. A potent defense from any future siege. Giron has a plan for repeating this ritual on a larger scale. The sergeant wanted to wanted me to speak with Risa before deciding. A word with you. Over here, away from the brothers. Please, talk with me. What the Ree brothers' plan is wrong. What do you want to talk about, Risa? Enslaving the dead is evil. Furan does not understand this. As for Giron, I think he does not care. There is a better way. You have a different plan, then. Just so. Take this talisman, use it, and learn how to free a spirit. They will cling to this world, so first you must weaken them. When you have done this, speak to me again. I'll try- uh, I'll try your tel- tel- talisman? Talisman. Alright. Okay. Use the talisman on a weaker spirit. Da da da. Oh. I thought I was done for. I can feel it. The talisman has been used. Yes, the spirit seemed grateful to be released. It was. Spirits are not meant to be trapped. Furan wants to enslave them through magic, but that's torture to the dead. Freeing these spirits is the right path. I'll consider your words, Risa. I need a solution. Stabbing spirits gets us nowhere. I made my decision. Well, it's all beyond me. I'm just another sword swinger. What should we do? Reese is right. We should set them free. Well, maybe enslaving their dead's not the best idea. That Scaleback sees the world differently. But she's seldom wrong. Let Risa know. She'll tell you the rest. Yes, Sergeant. You made the right decision. So how do we free these spirits? By freeing their commanders. Where they go, their men will follow. The cracks in the earth have uncovered relics of the past. Search for relics belonging to the Chimer General and his captains. Then we can wrest their attention from the past. Who are these officers you're talking about? The dead have spoken to me like whispers on the wind. Their leader is a powerful Murr named Red Rathrin. He was accompanied by his most loyal soldiers, two women named Adrana and Risari. Relics of their service should be perfect for the ritual. Once I have the relics, then what? I will meet you at a nearby Daedric ruin. It's the perfect space to complete the ritual. Find me there, with the relics, and we will return these dead men to their rest. I'll see you there. Okay. Let's get to moving. Fallen will not be disturbed. Okay. Ooh, sit back down, ghosty. I did not mean to disturb you. I simply wait. Uh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh. Oh, there it goes. Hello. The river flows. A living soul. It has been so long. To walk the river again, 
It is so strange and so sad. Why are you so sad, spirit? I and the other Saxley have not returned willingly. We Argonians were slaves to the Chimer in our time, as I sense they can be today. Even in death, we serve our cruel masters, slaves to their will. Can I do anything to aid you now? The Chimer would not willingly release us to Aetherius. To set their souls free on the river, you will have to destroy the Keepers. If you would do this, you will find me on the road away from here. I sense something I must see for myself. I'll free them, spirit. Why do you defile the dead? I'm trying to set you guys free. Unless you guys want to stay here forever. Which I don't understand why would anybody want to stay. Brimstone is strong in my nostrils. Even as a spirit, this place smells of ash and death. Have you done as I asked? Yes, they can move on now. You are very kind. Strangely kind for a place like the Ashlands. I stand here, tasting the air. And do you know what I've learned? What have you learned? The Saxalil you saved, the Argonians, they are not the only ones in danger. This pact forged in the wake of war is fragile, so fragile. Remember the history of violence against my people, and treat them well as you walk the river's edge. Thank you for the warning. My brethren are safe, and the Ashlands bubble with hope. I pass now down the river, to swim in the currents of Aetherius. Go well in your own passage, traveler.
fear the fury of the unliving. Okay. And she said to me at the Daedra Ruin. Ta-da! Let's see if we can put these spirits to rest. Voila. Lead your men to the lands beyond. Be gone! Fool! You don't have the power to compel me. Oh, hey. Buddy, you need to go to wherever the Dark Elves go. Okay? Pure rains make sweet rivers. Your wisdom is your strength. Is it done? Their leaders have moved beyond. May they find peace. For now, the rest remain like moths. They're no threat to the living, but they'll soon follow. You sacrificed power to give the dead peace. This was not an easy choice. Your kindness means there's hope. I think it's up to me and my assistants to give back. What do you mean? We want to bestow a unique gift to this battlefield. A sacrifice to allow plants and trees to grow again. Even a dry swamp regrows after many rains. How will you do this? I will explain in time. For now, go to the Kwama chamber east of here and find the mushroom called Kwama Cap. I must speak with my students. I will meet you there. I'll see that it's done. Awesome! Level up, level up. Um, I think I health better. Okay, we'll have to do that. Find the Quaminess. Where is that? Way over there. Okay. Blasted lizard. I remember when I'd hunt here for days and not see a soul. The war was on and people stayed behind walls or stuck to roads. Those days are behind us. What are you doing out here? Like I said, I was hunting. But now that the volcano's erupted, I'm headed to Deshawn. I don't want to get cooked. I'll be leaving as soon as my switch of a partner shows up. You haven't run into an Argonian named Stands in Stillwater, have you? No, I haven't. He's a good friend, but he never shuts up. Nothing still about him. He was supposed to meet me here, but I've waited too long already. If you're heading north of Ash Mountain, can you keep an eye out for him? He should have a camp up there. If I find him, I'll tell him you're looking for him. Thanks. Not many willing to help these days, especially a dusty Ashlander like me. We'd planned to rest up at the Davanus' farm near Cragimore before passing through the Deshawn Gate. He should know it. You're an Ashlander. That's right. Though, in truth, I have no clan. I make my living hunting and trading. Stillwater and I try to keep to the wilds and stay out of the way. What happened to your clan? They're alive and well. But that's a longer story that I don't have time for. Stillwater is a bit of an outcast himself. He escaped House Drez as a slave before the pact was signed. I think that's why we've stuck together for so long. All right. Hello, Kwama. I understand you're all gonna get very upset when I touch the mushroom.
up, Jelly. Reza. You have the Kwama cap? Yes, it. Yes, here it is. I will not touch it. Yet. Please, take a piece to each of my students. They understand what must be done, and they are ready. After that, meet me at the southern mustering camp. What must be done? War has wounded this land. Now it is our turn to sacrifice, so the plane can heal. My students understand this, and are willing. I think I understand. Welcome, traveler. The Quama Cap, do you know what will happen? Yes. My body will perish, but my soul will become one with the trees of this place. The land will bloom again. Please, give me the cap. Here you are, Gonker. It's kind of sad, though. I mean, especially since Dark Elves used to enslave villagers, and I'm sure there still are some who have them. And yet here they are, sacrificing I stand them. ready to assist Risa. I have the Quamma Cap, you know what this means. Yes, and I am grateful. When we meet in the next world, tell me how beautiful the land became. That's so wholesome. Be at peace. You can eat Ultra Deek. I feel bad, I don't know how to say your name. But sad. So wholesome. And see me in the next life. I hope the land becomes beautiful for you. Risa. They are brave, my acolytes. Now it comes to me. Our blood will be the water, our bones the soil. Here's the cap for you, Risa. I will make this gift, this sacrifice. Trees, plants, one day it will all bloom again. Blood is water, water is life. May the hist embrace you. Well, that's still sad. <laughs> well, that's going to be the end of the video. Like and subscribe if you like this content. Bye-bye, lovelies.